show you guys the benefit of using Archer's Mark if your close marks are off and how you can customize that, as well as how I use that program to help me perfect my far marks since I can't clear that normally on my site. So no matter what I do, when I plug all of my information into the system, whether it be Archer's Mark or Archer's Advantage, my close marks are always wrong for me. And by close, I mean like three yards, four yards, eight yards, like all my very close stuff. And that can be frustrating. So what I do in the system is duplicate my bow and then I can go in and change my peep height um, to bring that around. So basically what I'll do is I'll go to about six yards and I will shoot a mark at six yards at an arrow hole until I aim at an arrow hole and I perfectly hit the arrow hole so I know I have like a really quality mark. Then I go into the system and I'll show you what I do from there. So for this example, we're just going to use the bows titled Wood Lake since I'm not using those anymore. So the first thing that you're always going to do, you're going to start by building your normal bow with your measurements and your normal marks. Once that's put in, you're going to go test your close marks. And if they're off, here's how you're going to fix it. So my normal peep height in the system, as you can see, is 3.375. So what I'm going to do is play with my peep height in the system to correct my mark. So first off, I'm going to look at my six yard mark and it says that I should shoot it for 38.05. Well, when I just tested that, it was way high and the shot in mark that I got at an arrow hole was 36.2. That's where my mark needed to end up for my close marks to be perfect. So from there, I'm going to click back in. I'm going to hit edit under my wood lake bow, and then you can see the duplicate button in the bottom. When you hit duplicate, it will rebuild that bow to a T. Then I'm going to hit edit, rename it, and now I can come in here and I can change my peep height in the system. So here's the trick. If you're hitting high close, then you take off of your peep height. If you're hitting low, you're going to add to it. I was obviously hitting high, so I just started by guessing, and maybe I put in 3.1, and then I hit accept, and I'm gonna go back over, click in, and then look at what my six yard mark is. And at that point, maybe it said 37.3. And obviously I needed to take more off of my peep height. So I'm gonna go back in, hit edit again, take more off of my peep height. Maybe I tried 2.95 or 2.93, and I plug that in, click back, and I'm going to continue that process until when I click in, my six yard mark is exactly what I shot in. There's my 36.2. Now I know that all my marks closer than 20 are going to be perfect. The cool part about this is it only drastically changes your close and far marks when you edit your peep height. It does not really change your middle marks. So that makes it super easy. Anytime that I go up to a target that's closer than 20, I just click into my close marks on my phone. Anything between 20 and 80, I can just run my normal marks off my phone. And that allows me to like perfectly customize my close marks where I know like they're gonna hit an arrow hole. And I wanna be that accurate. Like it's not that far off, but I want it to be exact. So now let's switch gears and talk about what I do to get distance because I get asked this question a lot, especially with women, short draw lengths, light poundage, low peep height. All of those things make it tough to clear distance. So first off for me, I run my site really far out. I know people have noticed that recently. I do it because I want more magnification and I also run a really small peep. I'm blind and I need the small peep for it to be clear. And when I run a small peep, I need it out that far to actually be able to see my scope housing and center that in my peep. So that's why I run it out. But the farther you run your site out, the less distance that you can clear. So while I like it, it does make it hard for me to clear anything far. So I can only get about 80 yards. From there, I have to make some changes. So here's what I do. I will take my site from ran all the way out and run it all the way in. And I don't mean all the way in and stopping in the first hole. Like I actually shove the site against like the riser as far in as I can get it. There's not even a hole there. And then I just tighten it down. So that's gonna be my first step. And then what I'm gonna do is re-measure my peep to pin measurement. And so I'm gonna retake that measurement. I'm gonna go into the system, just like you did on your close marks, and I'm gonna duplicate my bow. So now I have a third bow. And then in there, I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna change my peep to pin measurement to what I just measured. Now from there, I'm gonna go shoot a 30 mark and a 90 mark with my sight run all the way in. I'm gonna plug that in. It's gonna generate me a whole new tape based off of that. That's what I'm gonna use for my far marks. Now, sometimes when I do that to clear 100, I still have to shoot a two fletch arrow. So all I do is just fletch an arrow normal and then I just cut it off the top fletch. And I shoot that, they fly fine, don't overthink it. I use those at 100 all the time, pretty much anything over 80. The other thing that you have to keep in mind is if your sights run all the way out and you move it in and you torque your bow at all, it's gonna change your left and right as you bring your sight in. So a lot of the times in the past when I would run my sight all the way in, I would also have to click my sight somewhere between 30 and 40 clicks to the left. 
Is this inconvenient? Yes. But if you're somebody who needs to go shoot a 100-yard target like at Reading and you need a 100-yard mark, um, that's one way to do it. If you know it's exact 100 yards and you can just go, you know, shoot a mark in, that's simple. But for some of these tournaments that we shoot, I might have an 85-yarder, a 93-yarder, and a 100-yarder. So I need an actual tape for all the far distances. And anytime I'm out there shooting, when I walk up to a far target, I run my sight in, I click at 30 clicks to the left, I run off my far marks, I click my sight back, I run my sight back out, click back to my normal marks and move on. It's a lot, but it works. And that's what I've done for years. So hopefully that gives you guys a little bit more idea of what you can do in the system as far as like editing your peep height to bring in your um, close distances. And then also like running a whole separate bow at the same time to have far marks. So that's what I'm doing at every single event. I do that at Reading. Um, I don't have to do the far one at field, but I do do the close marks for field, but um, it works. So hopefully that taught you guys something else. Let me know if there's anything else you uh, want to see.